I'm a 20 year old female and I was a freshman in college at the time when the story took place. It was near the end of the semester which meant that we had finals coming up in a couple of weeks. I wasn't exactly in the position to fail finals so I knew I had to do well in order to pass. That meant studying, eating good foods, and getting a good night's rest. Now here's where the incident began. It was about a week before finals and I was doing my usual routine of going to bed early. My roommate was out at a frat party so I had the room to myself. Anyway, I was about to shut my eyes and go to sleep when I heard my phone go off. I sighed and sat up and looked at my phone to see that I got a text message from a random number. I figured that it was either my roommate or someone had the wrong number. I opened the text message. It read, Hello Jane. I texted back saying, Who is this? They responded back in less than a minute telling me that they could see me through my window. Now my dorm does have a window and it faces the outside with some trees. I assumed that the person texting me was my roommate or someone from my family pulling a prank on me. For whatever reason, I looked out the window, and I could see someone standing in the grass looking at me. I couldn't see his face as he was wearing a black hoodie and it was dark outside. I ducked down below my window and closed the blinds. I didn't know who that was and I blocked the number. Around 10 minutes later, I got into bed and tried to fall asleep, trying not to think about what had just happened. I fell asleep for about a good hour before I woke up to hear banging coming from somewhere in the room. I sat up and turned on the light to see nothing. I then heard the banging again, but I realized that it was coming from the door. Me, thinking it was my roommate, walked over to the door to let her in. I put my hand on the door handle and then stopped. I then realized that, what if it wasn't my roommate? I looked through the people expecting to see my roommate, but I instead saw a man with a jacket trying to unlock my door. I started to panic and didn't know what to do. Thankfully I remembered that I had pepper spray with me, so I got it out of my bag and stood by the door just waiting for the man to pick the lock and come in. About 30 seconds later, the door opened and I sprayed the pepper spray in his face. The man screamed in pain as the pepper spray was burning. He dropped to the floor and I took that chance to run out of my dorm and speak with security. They took him away and I don't really know what they did with him. The thing that scares me the most was how he got my number. That part really creeps me out to this day. When I was about 22 years old, I attended a university over 2,000 miles away from my home. I was ready to start a new chapter of my life by studying culinary in college as I wanted to be a chef as a career. I didn't have the money with me at the time to pay for my college, so I had to get a student loan and pay back the money. That meant that I had to get a job while I was in college. All of the jobs that I tried looking for either rejected my application or weren't hiring. My university did have jobs on campus, but from what I heard was that you don't get paid much. However, it didn't really seem like I had a choice, so I decided to work on campus. I, for some reason, chose to be a library assistant. Basically, I would scan books and put them where they belong. It was an easy task, but a long one. Anyway, one day, the library was empty as it was getting ready to close. I was finishing up putting a few books away on the shelves when I heard the library doors open and then close. I just figured that it was a student coming to return a book or something. I turned around to see not a student but some guy. He didn't even look like a student, he looked homeless. I told him that we were closed and to come back tomorrow, but he didn't respond to what I told him. He just stood there looking at me. I could now see that he was high on something. This man wasn't right and so I asked if he needed help. He finally then responded saying no in a raspy voice. I knew there was something wrong with him and so I called the security. But before I was able to put the phone to my ear, he grabbed me with one of his arms and used his other arm to take out something from his pocket. 
I started to freak out and started trying to break free, but his arm was holding onto my arm really, really tight. He then gave me the creepiest smile I have ever seen while still holding the knife up. I started screaming and thank god there was security nearby. They stormed into the library and pushed the man to the ground and called the police. When the police arrived, I was questioned and they took the man off to some mental institution. It's been three years since that happened and I just hope he's getting the help he needs. But this was the scariest experience I've ever had. I'm a 23 year old male and I was in college when this incident occurred. I had just started my first semester at Stanford University. I know, it's a very hard school to get into. Anyway, I got the key to my room and I met my roommate, we'll call him Joseph. Joseph seemed cool, although a bit quiet. I would always be the one to strike up a conversation with him and sometimes he would just give me dry responses. One day, I came back from one of my classes and walked into my dorm to find Joseph looking through one of his backpacks. When he saw me, he acted like he wasn't looking in it and just casually went on his phone. I acted like I didn't see him being suspicious, but I knew that he had something in that book bag that he didn't want me to see. That night, I was very curious as to what was in that bag and so I waited for him to fall asleep. When he finally fell asleep, I decided to be Snoopy and to look in his bag. I tiptoed over to his bed very quietly and opened the zipper to his bag. What I found in there was horrifying. I looked inside to find a gun along with cocaine. I zipped his book bag up as quietly as I could and to the door to find security. As I was about to open the door, I felt a hand grab my arm and then felt something metal touch my head. I turned around to see Joseph standing there holding my arm and in his other hand, he was pointing the gun at me. He said in a very angry voice, if you try to leave or scream, I promise I will put a bullet through your head. I decided to take a risk. I kicked him in the knee and he fell onto the ground followed by him screaming. I took that chance to run out of the room to security. When security got to the room, he was gone. About 6 years ago, when I was about 19 years old, I attended a university that was 2,000 miles away from my hometown. I decided to live on campus, even though it was extremely expensive, but I really didn't have a choice. I met my roommate, and she was pretty cool, if anything, a bit quiet, but I was used to stuff like that. Anyway, one day, one of my classes had ended, and I was pretty much done for the day, so I decided to get some lunch at a restaurant on campus. I got my food and sat down on some benches when I noticed some guy sitting a few benches down just staring at me. I didn't think much of it, but I did find it a bit weird. I looked away from him and tried to focus on eating while looking at my phone. A few seconds later, I decided to see if he was still staring at me and, expectedly, he was. I was starting to get a little more creeped out by this and so I ate fast and threw my food away and walked back to my dorm and made sure he wasn't following me. I answered my dorm and my roommate had noticed the shocked look on my face and she asked what was wrong. I told her what happened and she just told me to ignore him. Fast forward a few hours later, I was watching a movie sometime during the night while my roommate was asleep. At one point, I had to use the restroom and so I got up and went down the hallway to use the restroom. There were no people in the halls as it was very late. I entered the woman's restroom and I did my business and at one point, I looked to the crack of the stall door and I saw an eye peeking in. I screamed and pulled up my pants and pushed the stall door open. I looked to see who it was and it was that same guy who had been staring at me from earlier. He was still on the ground and I made a run for it. I ran back down the hall into my dorm. My roommate had woken up asking me in an annoyed voice what the hell was I doing up so late. 
I explained about the guy from earlier and she believed me. We called the security on campus, but they never found the guy. It's been two months and I haven't seen him since, and I hope I never do.